Welcome to 2021 Back to School Night. This is for Integrated Math 2 and Integrated Math 2 Enhanced. Uh, this is a syllabus that I went over with students um, at the beginning of the school year. Um, my email is vpeña at cnusd.k12.ca.us. Um, and we do use Google Classroom. Um, I gave the codes to each of the students, um, you know, throughout my different classes. Um, so if you need access to that, just let them know and they should have that. Um, again, I have been a mathematics teacher here at Corona High School for 16 years. This is my 17th year teaching here in our school. Um, again, I'm, I'm so grateful that students are able to uh, come back to school, you know, we're able to see each other face to face. Um, again, I'm happy to be um, of help for all students. And again, I hope that we can work together to, um, you know, make this school year a great one. We are going to be utilizing, like I said, Google Classroom. So not only do are we, you know, in class face to face, but um, students have access to everything on Google Classroom also. So I told the students that it's really important for them to keep themselves accountable um, and also be diligent about scheduling time to complete assignments, you know, either in class or online on Google Classroom. So um, again, if we work together, I know that we're going to be successful. And I encourage all my students, um, if they need extra support, uh, they need tutoring to come visit me uh, again during my office hours. And I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, and here it is. So my office hours are Thursday uh, from three to four in my room K7. Um, I do have second lunch and I have prep period during first lunch. So sometimes students come in during their lunch uh, to get help. Um, I am available then also and I have my door open so um, they are more than free to come in. A little bit on the course description for Integrated Math 2 and Enhanced. Um, again, this, this is taught in accordance with the state adopted nationwide common core standards. Topics that we cover is number and quantity, algebra, functions, geometry, and statistics and probability. First semester, predominantly, we cover algebra 2. And then second semester, we cover geometry. Um, like I mentioned, we're going to be uh, utilizing the learning management system, uh, Google Classroom. Um, how we will use Google Classroom in Integrated Math 2 and Enhanced is all assignments uh, will be in Google Classroom and students will turn them into the assignments into Google Classroom using some kind of uh, scan app. In, in this case, I had introduced the students to Adobe Scan because it's free and it's easy to use. Uh, students will also submit unit notes that they take in class to Google Classroom. Um, and then just FYI, the syllabus, daily notes, assignments, and other important information is all found in Google Classroom. Um, again, just in case because of the pandemic, anything can happen. If school gets shut down again, um, at least we have Google Classroom as our learning management system where students um, can access this from anywhere. Um, required supplies, I, have, I told the students, they do need an electronic device such as a computer and or a phone. Some students are able to access information on their phone. Um, I, I discourage that, obviously, for, you know, for reasons of distraction. But again, um, some students, you forget to charge their, their electronic device um, and then they end up using their phone um, as a backup. I did tell students that they do need a notebook because they do take notes in class. They need pencils and pens, graphing calculator, and again, other supplies may be needed as we go. Um, I do have some in my classroom, but again, uh, just in case. My grading policy, um, where I give points is in two categories. Um, I have assessments, unit tests, quizzes, final exam, are all worth 60% of students' grades, and assignments, class, homework, notes, uh, projects, performance tasks, are all worth 40% of students' grades. And again, um, just uh, that little extra note there where it says co components and percentages are subject to change. Um, again, the reason why I put that is because when we went into the pandemic and we went from school to home, uh, things had to change a little bit because, you know, it was new to us too. Um, for example, for assessments, it was difficult to give them and then, you know, give 60% of their grade to 
to an assessment when we, you know, when all of this started. So um, just FYI. Uh, the other thing is I don't round grades up. Um, so I don't negotiate decimal points. So a 79.7 .7 is a solid C plus, not a B minus. And I told the students that this is discredits the higher grade for students whose efforts are earned uh, efforts earned it without the adjustment. So just to be fair for everyone. Um, like I said, notes are required um, for students to take in class. Uh, we do give daily notes um, and they are provided in Google Classroom as a PDF under the topic daily notes. Uh, these are the same notes that I do a presentation in, on, in class. Um, and again, as, as students work through the notes, they're writing down the parts, um, you know, of notes that are going to be essential for them when they take their tests and their quizzes. Uh, again, notes will be submitted to Google Classroom under topic upload unit notes here um, right before they take their unit test. Um, and again, we've talked in class about how to upload notes. Um, I, I told them to use Adobe Scan, but some students are using other apps, which is fine, um, just so long as they're able to upload. We also give assignments. Some are classwork, some are homework. And these are, again, all provided in Google Classroom under topic, daily assignments, and they are PDF files. Uh, you can, I told the students that they can write down the answers in their notebook, and then they take a picture and scan it into Google Classroom, or they can print the assignment out write in their answers, take a picture, scan it in. Some students were able to uh, use other apps um, to just write on the assignment itself um, through online, so that's fine also. Um, again, homework should be completed daily since I do try to grade it um, the following day. Um, and then I upload um, my gradebook into um, into Q. So I tell my students, um, make sure that they look at Q um, every, especially every Monday, like after the week has gone by, um, the following Monday to make sure that they turned everything in or that any um, files that they um, uploaded to Google Classroom that they were vis visible, like that it was able to go through. Um, and again, I for that reason, I do accept late work um, or home uh, late homework because anything can happen online. Some people have difficulty with the Wi-Fi, et cetera, et cetera. And the last day to turn in late work for uh, is September, uh, for this semester, excuse me, is December 3rd, 2021. Um, and again, it's subject to change just in case we end up back at home. Um, I, I am giving assessments. Um, and again, assessments consist of unit tests, quizzes, and the final exam. Um, if a student misses an assessment due to an excused or justified absence, uh, they will be required to make up the assessment right after school immediately upon return. Students are also allowed to retake a unit test only once if they choose to during the current semester. Uh, there's not going to be any retakes for small quizzes. Um, and again, retakes must be done after school. I offer after school tutoring, so I encourage students to come stop by um, for tutoring if their grade drops to a C minus. Um, again, it is after school in my classroom, K7, on Thursdays from 3 to 4 p.m. Um, I will be offering more hours or more time after school as the year kind of progresses. Right now, students are still kind of um, at the beginning phase where not a lot of people need my help. Um, so right now, I just have that one hour open after school. So um, again, if you need to reach out and communicate with me, email is the best option. I read my email consistently throughout the day. Um, you could also call the school phone number, which is 951-736-3211. Um, again, my office hours is on Thursdays from 3 to 4 p.m. And there is a way to also message me through um, or, or email me through Google Classroom, which students uh, do if they need some kind of support in Google Classroom or they don't know where a certain file is or something like that. But um, I t tell my students my email is the best option in reaching out and communicating. So again, um, I'm telling parents the same thing. If you need anything, email me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, with that, Thank you so much for watching this little video of our virtual back to school night uh, this year. I hope that we have a wonderful year and thank you. Have a good evening. Bye.